Good afternoon and good evening whenever and wherever you I will go back to the beta plan as a return towards the Dulkadir with its newest Shahanshan Shahanshan Farhat. Now, some may have taken issue with the fact that I, in the last episode, committed suicide. My father. At the end of his stage, he got cancer and he got himself a treatment by the cold physician, but that turned him mad and feeling possessed. Interestingly enough, actually, nowadays that gives you plus one personal combat uh, uh, skill. At minus ten attraction doesn't really do much of anything. A lunatic that was a little bit worse regarding the vassal opinion, but he was just crazed, stressed, depressed. And I've never had used the new option of killing yourself, and there were new options I knew. With the latest DLC and what have you not. So that's why I tried it. Does that make it easier on Shahansen Farhat? Absolutely not. Why is that? Well, this man, he loved my successor, despite the fact that he killed himself. But I know of, uh, let me find someone. Someone really is like, he killed himself, and this is the son. What, what kind of a bad person is this here? Oh, being a predecessor, minus 30. Minus 30, so yeah, it can really be a disadvantage to actually kill yourself. Do not forget that. Also, this is a very interesting note. <clears throat> the King of Alania, the chaste, with his one son, he sent his son to the Immortals. So the King of Arabia is about to... This man is about to inherit all of Alania. Kumania and Volga Bulgaria. Well, luckily it's but one extra kingdom, but... This area will then not go into... Move slowly into Alania. No, it will slowly move into Arabia. Because he's definitely going to keep that as his main title. So... Yeah, I'm not too happy about that. And I can't revoke the title just... That way until... Unless everybody almost get a minus 30 opinion with me. I am, of course, not going to lead an army. I'm craving as hell, so I'm not going to do that. And I've chosen for the war, uh, the focus, yeah. Hopefully, we'll get the event that will turn me brave. Um, my wife, also a little bit of a loony, but I still love her nonetheless. Actually, interestingly enough... Oh, here, attraction to Luna. Actually, I love her more than she loves me. Oh, interesting. But uh, yeah, that is my wife, and it is a sister wife, so it is definitely very good. And this is my aunt, my aunt, but she's 28, I'm 16 yet, 12 years older, and she may be, uh, well, my father's sister, but she's an experienced woman, and sometimes you might want that over something that has no experience whatsoever, depending on your opinion. Um, he also turned Tibbet. That's two times the chance to be turned Traven. Okay, well, good luck, brother. My baby brother, who I think I am teaching? No, not at the current moment. Oh, well, but I, yeah, I did that off camera. I offered him to teach him, and he did accept. And this lady got a bastard boy with somebody, alright. How can I rely on my generals when their understanding of warfare is lacking compared to my own? I could teach a uh, fellow about a thing or two. Yeah. Yeah, I'll teach him. Cavalry tricks. The Bundukarit wants to marry my sister. Is the heir to the Bundukarit clan? We've been allies of old, I have to admit. And this is my 12 year old sister, so she's like a lot new. Hmm. Hmm. And this is definitely the heir to the Bundukarit clan? Back look. So no he isn't. Oh actually he is. But you don't know for how long. Right. Um. Oh. By the way. This clan. Completely wiped out. The kids, the kids Bugoy took them over. The ones that were over here. So, trashed and done. Actually, I'm not sure if 
this is partially... Oh, this is the Prevain. Yeah, the Prevain were over here. So Kyrgyz also took some area of them. They were split in, in two. Yep. Okay, so it's... Mm, the Prevain... Mm, uh, the Bunukarit has lost one county to Kyrgyz. Kazakh has been lost to them. Oh well. Um... Are we going to accept this or not? Why am I so having such difficulty deciding that? The Bunukarit, are you about to be the new clan leaders? No. The Baikam are quite firmly in power. But I'm going to simply decline. The Bunukarit are no longer the clan to be. Shah Farnbos gratefully accepted my lessons in the art of war. With more generals like me, who can stand against us? Oh, and he revoked mm, Anaba. All right. Well, do you want to come to my court? No, unable to press your claims, as you wish. So we have a little rebellion, rebellion up here in the north. Man, these women that I invited into my court were originally from. Uh, oh, he's actually legitimized. They were actually original. Uh, from Muslim dynasties, they are creating a lot of bastard boys. Apparently, they are easy fodder for those who uh, wish to gain some children. Actually, it's not bad for him. He has only but one son. And who is a kinslayer at that? Oh, the Duke is already taking care of it. A naive appeaser. Nope. Locked himself up and I will release her because she just loves to march this man because he is attractive and an inspiring seducer. Makes it really tough to recruit anyone from your dungeon. Thank you. A Persian man that is Zoroastrian and he is just not willing to listen to us. Well, we banish him to the Bektashi order. Right. Where are you? Still then. Over there, and somewhere up in here. Alright. I'm noticing how little duchies Ireland still has created. What duchy is this that actually you are holding? The duchy of mid, but that's over here somewhere. That's somewhat weird. <clears throat> You want you one of your sons, but it's not the heir to be. That's not so bad, but I want to want to keep my sister around. That our issue is over here. All right. No, I already said that you cannot have her, and I also will not give her to you. Thank you. Because you are of this mm, tiny, tiny little horse lord clan. Why would I give you anything? What is Bulgaria having issues with? The Georgian Liberation Revolt? Seriously? Hmm, the carlings don't have, do not have enough control. This is a Berber carling. The Carlings are still quite in power here. Your mother Pavane has asked you to consider her for a position of Darikpat on your council. Hold on. Don't know why we're getting a victory over there. Uh, decline, you're just about a single man. You did get three sons. Has asked you to consider her for a position of Darik Pat on your council. Why are you sure she would be up to the task? It would be an unconventional choice. If done I'm right, scandal is one. Your vassals would not be happy. She has fifteen, Darik Pat. He has eight. Yeah, but he needs to be on the council, right? Yeah, he needs to be on the council. And you'll get fired from council. Uh, she's up to the task, but I'm not going to do it. Translation house has been built. 
Alright. The development... Ooh, barracks? Yes sir, please. The development of our hospitals is still... A, well, more or less why I seek in all my money when I have extra money. Sinon, hold on. Where is this? Where is Sinon? Oh, that's called the capital of Quiver. Okay, now that, then it's fine that we're upgrading over there. Alright. Not that it's some random county that I own far, far away. Um, I actually cannot even hold that many titles. Only but eight. Yeah, yeah, I'm sending an army up there. I'm trying to take care of the situation. I can't raise local lease levies. What's up with that? I can't raise local lease levies anywhere at certain locations. And we lack a commander of the first army, so alright. Oh, these levies will come too late. Uh, very good, apparently. You will definitely not talk to me, so we'll just release you. Or you will not consider to stay with me. Unless I force you to be my concubine, and I see no point in that. Goodbye, horse lords. Get the heck out of here. Roberto de Larza of the Venice Republic of Vin Venice. Increase council power. Oh man, you really dislike me. Well, you're just going to have to learn to live with that. How is your war going against your... Ooh. My concubine is pregnant, but I was away, wasn't I? Oh dear. Uh, there's another concubine that's pregnant, but her I do not question, so that's interesting. Um, terrain expert. Terrain is a key to winning battles. If I focus my studies, I believe I can master the, the tactics of one type of terrain. So where are we suspected to fight? I think in mountainous area, if I am correct. If we look at the Byzantine Empire, it's all kind of mountainous. But even if we look to the west, I think we have now gone into the mountainous atlas over here. Now this is still considered desert, but this is considered mountains. Even the Atlas is considered mountains? That's a weird choice by... It's considered desert. Mountains is over here. Still, that's more desert than I expected. Uh, but I am going to go actually with mountainous terrain expert. Combat in mountains. It will not be good for if I want to attack Jerusalem, but it will be good for the Byzantine Empire, possibly up here in in the east. But or I could go for flatlands, of course. Plains, farmlands, and steppes. Which means up in the north would be good. But this is all really mountainous terrain, isn't it? Yeah, th th this will not give me flat stuff. I'm going to go with... M rough terrain is forest and hills. That's all mountains. It's all mountains in the beginning here of the Byzantine Empire. I'm going to go with mountains. Which is a weird combination if you consider that I'm also a cavalry expert. Which you would not expect to fight well in the mountains. I have a bit of an unorthodox strategy. Tor Corso is yet again able to carry on his duties as dark. Yeah, and you were on challenge for that. Actually, could you? No, because you have two. You are horrible. The King of Mesopotamia is horrible regarding his skill set. Um, I need actually for you to be a little bit more. I need some people to smooth out the relationships with. 
Like the king of Kiva, if you could smooth out the relationships with him, it would be awesome. And I'm actually I'm keeping this army stationed over here, because I can, there are too many times that some wolf lords come over the border, and this is the same issue in Africa. That there are raiders nowadays in our lands. Like hell you're going out. Fourth of March. Yeesh, I'm arriving late. But I'm arriving in time. Destroyed. Goodbye. If you never come back, it will be too soon. Uh, I will keep this information for myself. Who can I imprison? This guy. But it would lower all vassal opinions. Ooh. Ah, quick. But unfortunately, also she is just all heads over heels with this guy. Attraction to attractive. Sayid, aspiring seducer. Brave, both of them. Kind, brave, diligent. This guy is awesome. Yeah, he is. I, I cannot, I cannot deny that. He is an awesome character. Holy heck, I gained stressed. That's early in life. Defending against in the Holy War 4, okay. That's not good. Has declared Arabian Holy War for Afar on King Asaf of Abyssinia. Okay, Arabia is going to go down south here. I'm kind of... There we go, we have a daughter. And we have an heir! Who is strong? And that's because I am doing it with my aunt. Yep, that is the new heir. Am I going to name him after me though? That is a bit of the question. No, actually he's named after my short-lived dad. Whose name I cannot pronounce, which is a bit of an, 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 an annoyance to me. Um, Fadibors is something I can pronounce a little bit more, so I think I'm gonna go with that. It's named after an uncle that I have, so I know that it is a name that is just right culturally speaking, but I just can't pronounce the name, and then that just annoys me a little bit. Fadibors of Africa. Fadibors! You are the new heir, and you are strong. That is awesome to see. Uh, but yeah, I'm considering attacking this one man over here. The whole world will be on, on my ass for that, though. Yeah, but... Can I call up the troops of Egypt? I can, I can call up 5,000 men right next to him. We probably will be able to mm, siege that down before it goes to... Mm, before it becomes a problem. The 10th of August we are arriving. Declare war! And call up these men. And call up Aksum's men. Well, actually Sana, but whatever. Oh, there we go. Not our pregnancy. We might just want to go then with uh, hunting focus. Because hunting focus can get you a dog, and a dog can take away that pain of stress. There we go, we have 10 to 1 ratio. I kind of would like to end this war quickly. Don't want to have all kinds of issues surrounding me. There we go, and besides, we have a over 10 to 1 ratio, meaning it is always better to just... Siege it down anyway, assault it, and have the war be over. Um, this young girl is pretty awesome as a concubine. I'm just gonna stop here for a moment, see if I can perform the sky burial. Oh, for my dad, I should still do that then. Um, how much are you worth? 14 bucks.
Alright, so we'll do that and we'll perform the Sky Burial. As per custom, you should take your predecessor to the mountains. They will be offered to the birds and prey, and in death they will be generously shared their flesh with all the living creatures. May their spirit soar into the heavens. I shall take him to the mountains myself. Alright, let's ransom the next girl. Who is this? I don't want to get rid of her. That's the only one I do not want to get rid of. So we'll pay for her. After reaching the mountains, you carefully place the body in what you deem a good location. You can already hear the vultures soaring above you as you perform unnecessary rituals. When you start to make your way back down, it doesn't take long until the vultures begin to tear the flesh with both beak and claw. You are with mana now. And we gain a hundred prestige for that. Alright, she is also sold off and ransom one more prisoner before we need to declare peace. Because, well, it is asked for and of course we cannot be brutes and not accept that. Kaboom! It is over. We can usurp the Duchy of Vag. Goodbye. And that, that, and that, please. And the Duchy of Vag, who has most control of it? That would be Egypt. Right? Hold on, I need to look at my vassals. Yeah, they hold control of it. So, more or less, this could be the border if we want to. Or I could give it to Sana. Because how did the duchies go? Yeah, if I give it to Sana, Abyssinian wouldn't lose any of its de jour terrain. And this would remain Abyssinia. I might actually do that. Give this king some power. Also, Egypt is already extremely strong. It's not like they, they need anything else. I probably... I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna give it to Sana. Um, first of all... Oh crap, was this the Holy Order? I, I think I constantly didn't make this mistake. Yeah, it was the Holy Order. Alright. Holy Order. You can march down here again, if you will, please. Thank you very much. Um, so, who will inherit this, or who will gain this? Let us find somebody that's decent. My religion, my culture, yes, new. No. Um, 63, absolutely not. 40. Let's do him. His good stats. Grand that a title. Vag. And this. And. No, 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 we don't have too many. Transfer Vasalage. Not Al Jazeera. Vag. To you. And then we have somewhat of a border for the new budgeting kingdom of Sana. There you go. And then we can cut off Egypt from uh, from Abyssinia, so there will be less likely a chance that they will attack. And then they will probably gain this duchy and then it will be taken up by Egypt, which frankly I don't mind too much. Keeps the this river part into their... will bring that river into their territory. Um... So, let us see what we can build, because we have quite a bit of stuff. And that stuff is also named gold. Alright. Wow. We have nothing to build? Oh, I was already wondering. Thank you, chapel. There we go. It seems like a lot that money, but see, two buildings and gone. it's gone again, so don't think too much of it. The dangerous faction is uh, increased council power, 80.7%. That's not that large. In fact, one of the kings just dropped from it. Now it has already dropped to 32.5. Few people joining again against me. Uh, I would be happy to give you the deserve uh, reward, but nope, and thus we are not going to do give him anything, because we have enough 
diplomacy and we really need to send out our mobots to try and um, stem the tide of some religious unrest. How is it going over here in Africa? Africa is doing well. But yeah, we just conquered all kinds of new lands which well, we'll still need to mm, turn, be turned around a little bit. But in principle, Zoroaster is, mm, Zoroastrianism is what, well, strikes mm, the bell the most. Well, actually, that's not true, it's Catholicism. I think I just saw that you are Sumo but everything beneath you is Catholic. That's interesting, the ruling house is Sumo but the people beneath him are Catholic. That's really interesting. Also, by the way, notice this. He is a single county king. Where is his kingdom? Over here. Don't ask me how. He owns these two duchies, Finnmark and Lapland. Kola has already shifted to Finland. But, yeah. That is the way of things. I still should try and one day when we have no religious uh, issues to deal with, I'm trying to get Rust to chase his own Rassianism. That still uh, seems like an awesome idea. Once suggested, never performed yet. We have tried, but did not succeed. This man took Catholic, and they're part of Norway, I just noticed. Okay. Norway has a little bit of territory there. Is this still England? This is still England. These Russians, have they already been... I know they were not a true Russian... Uh, yeah, they've never been Russians, they're Mordvins. The Mordvins have won here, despite the fact that I think the Russian culture, yeah, has developed over here. But this is all Mordvin. And whoever this is, you're having issues. Oh, actually, you fall under the bike cup. Bahar, hello, daughter of mine. Baikom. What is your issue? Attacking the Vitebsk in the Baikon War for Vitebsk. 46% in his favor against a count? Man, you guys suck as a Zoroastrian Lord. Seriously. We came down from the steps into Persia and conquered it all, and you're just losing it. I also have the feeling that Kyrgyz is, is slowly beating, uh, being eaten up by this. Revolt, though they did reclaim this little title. But once I definitely do want to, well, gobble up a little more of them. Actually, we have claims on a duchy? No, we have the entire duchy. Alright. We once conquered it and they never asked for that to be turned. So how is the war here going? Arabia. Yeah, you're probably going to get all of that. Which is a bit annoying. I didn't want you to, but... Well, what can I do? I probably will have to crown them King of Abyssinia or something. Um, uh, Expose... In my opinion, of Shan Zant. I will charge him as a Deviant. Threaten Zant with exposure unless he stays out of all factions. Let's use that for once. Oh, and my concubine was pregnant by all was away, wasn't I? And no! Shanzon just laughed at the evidence, flat out refused to stop meddling in political financialism. He will live to regret this, and now we are both very, very angry with one another. Slandered. But yeah, I could give Arabia Abyssinia or something. I don't know how to, how to handle this. But Abyssinia is getting... Well, destroyed right now by Arabia. The back land here will be a little bit weirdly divided. Now perhaps if uh, if he wins this war, I will immediately usurp the title and give it to Sana. I don't I don't think that Sana will ever be posed to strike some against uh, Arabia and will take it away, but still. I do like the new portraits here of these 
Ethiopian people and this, uh, what are these? Are they all Ethiopian? No, uh, the, in the back here there's supposedly some different culture. Uh, I will become close friends. I think the culture is gone. Oh, no, here, it is Somali, still present. And there is Ethiopian. But now we uh, hold sway over it. Alright. And this flag, it won't, will just not go away because there's always going to be disease now in my realm. Like, whoa, actually some of the disease is actually going quite close to my capital. And now I need to deal with these guys again. Actually, do we have enough boats for this? Can we land our troops on the boat? No. 34, that's too bad. I would have loved to teach them a lesson via boat. It is so much easier to uh, take care of it in that case. This probably will just not uh, just push them out, but won't do anything of major interest. Whoa! The Amalfarid turned Catholic? This Amalfarid is Catholic. They turned Catholic probably because they were threatened with a holy war. And then there's an Amalfarid revolt immediately. But that's still of a Catholic man. Holy heck. And this is the original king of Africa. Catholicism. Yeah, the Muslim Dina are far and far away. Good fighting, what the heck? As you replace your training dummy with a real person, you find that facing an intelligent enemy is a lot harder, but also more rewarding. After many bruises and cuts, it's clear that you've gained experience and have better control of fighting than ever before. Good fighting, Herbert Vista of Raizut. Uh, gets dual training. Personal combat skill increased. Well, at least temporarily. And here we go! Having spent countless of hours swinging your sword, it is clear that your technique is getting better. You know the essence of every possible strike to utilize in a fight. The hard training is paying off and I'm becoming a warrior. We are definitely becoming a warrior. Perhaps we can lose indeed the Craven trait. We'll see. Oh, the Byzantine Empire also has hardly ever collapsed. Ah, there's a new... Uh, Emperor on the throne. It's a young man, the son of Demiur. It's probably some saint or something? Perhaps some of my Greek watchers can give me some insight into this. The son of who? I don't know who this is. And yet another daughter. We now have gotten four daughters? No, three daughters. I constantly have, like, who is this then? Hold on. Oh, yo. Can I look? Who has a different father? If I look at it like this, I have four daughters, but... Oh, wait, some one is, of course, my uh, half-sister. Yeah, because that's... This concubine has served both my dad as well as me. As well as my sister, uh, no, my aunt has served both my dad and me. Um, served sounds actually kind of possibly the wrong choice of words. Whoa, we only get 2,000 men from Syria. Okay. That is abysmal. And I must say, Mesopotamia is getting a lot of revolts of late from this this uh, particular person. The Baba Kit. I see that Syria is already calling up man. He will deal with the revolt himself. Fine. And he seems to create a claim on this. Why are you independent? The Mars Panat of Al Jazeera. What the heck is going on here? Uh, this is supposed to be... That's weird. Okay. Transfer of Azalej. Al Jazeera. To you. 
There you go. That also makes him a little happier. I had no idea that Al Jazeera was for some reason independent. And Jerusalem also seems to be... Kingdom of Jerusalem is attacking the Night Hospitallers. Okay. Yeah, even a duke can call up 5,000 men to, in order to beat down this revolt. And I get only 2,000. Hmm. Something is not right here. Banish him. The Great Holy War for Armenia! This is what I've wanted all along. We are going to fight the Byzantine Empire. Oh right, time to set some things in motion. Time to gather up some armies. Armenia, it's not the greatest kingdom to get because it's only this part, but then again it would it's better than Georgia. Armenia, alright, 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 alright. Um Don't forget that we can call up all our people just like this. Get them to the border without any problems, because we will join his war. It's not about us having raised vast assault levies. Yes, people will be annoyed during the time of the raising. Like, now they're going to get annoyed. Like, why do you raise our levies when there is no war that you are actively fighting? But trust me when I say that will be... That issue will be null and void as soon as we enter that war because they're like okay you're doing for that great holy war we accept and then their the penalty for having called them up will go down very very quickly so in fact i am quite okay with calling up everybody now and because it's the byzantine empire i do want everybody there as soon as we go to war i hope this rule hasn't changed by the way because otherwise i am kind of screwed i realize but here we go. Uh, Egypt, Sana. There's Egypt, there's Sana. We need those men. We need good, strong men. Oh, apparently there is... He's trying to reclaim something again. I don't need this. I do want is this and can your troops that you provide to me, yes, can be um, put on a ship. Alrighty then, I am gonna go off camera and I'm going to move everybody to the right locations and we are about to take on the Byzantine Empire with our newest Shahanshan, Shahanshan Farhat. I say I thank you for watching and remember, great peril yields great beauty.